Hi. I'm gonna be lazy and put the camera down here because I just don't wanna hold it up. And I'm sorry for the lovely fluorescent lighting above me, but right now I'm in my hostel's kitchen, which is actually pretty massive. Oh, I'm gonna put you in my water bottle. The one I paid for yesterday because I lost my airport security. So you guys can be my breakfast date. That works. So, good morning. Uh, it is currently 5.20 in the morning. And the reason I'm up so early, oh, this is a new vlog too. So hello, hi, my name's Kat, for you guys who don't know, and I am a photographer and videographer currently in New Zealand. Um, yeah, so currently it is 5.20 in the morning and that is because I am going scuba diving this morning at Milford Sound and I am, oh my gosh, unbelievably pumped. Um, just a little backstory. Last summer, so like right now it's March 2018, last spring I should say, like March, April 2017, uh, Patrick and I got our scuba diving certification because we were going on our honeymoon in Australia in July. And for some reason, it's always been on my bucket list to scuba dive the Great Barrier Reef. So I figured, hey, we're literally staying right by the Great Barrier Reef. Why not get our scuba diving certification? So we did, and I found it extra easy just because I swam in college. So I've swam competitively for 10 plus years, been in the water longer. So I've always had really good body control in the water. So scuba diving has always been like second, was second nature. So yeah, we got our certification and then we dove in the Great Barrier Reef. Honestly, with a letdown because it was super stormy and the water was like the visibility was really low. So the diving honestly wasn't that great, but it doesn't matter. I'll go back someday. Uh, today though, I'm diving Milford Sound because when I was planning out things to do on this trip, Milford Sound is like a very popular tourist destination on the South Island in New Zealand. And I thought, how can I make this experience a little different other than just running, like paying for a boat tour and like cruise around, which would have been really cool. But I was like, how can I make this different? So I was just Googling like Milford Sound hikes and I came across a blog that was like, Milford Sound scuba diving and I was like hmm so yeah it turns out there's like one dive company there who does all the diving and the water is like really cold for scuba diving there's different wetsuits um depending on where you're diving in terms of thickness and this is going to be the thickest wetsuit I've ever worn it's an eight mil if you know what that is or know have a frame of reference to compare that to um, I also think I'm having gloves and like a head mask and everything, so I'm a little nervous about the cold because I do get cold really easily diving, but I'm so excited. And also, with diving, they do have to like drive you around, so like I feel like I'm getting like a two for one, like I'm getting the cruise and I'm getting the dive. So, yeah, I couldn't really sleep last night. I honestly think it was because I was just so excited, so I'm just chilling in the hostel breath, hostel kitchen. I made myself some oatmeal and some of that instant coffee. I also packed myself two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and a banana just for my day because it's about a two hour drive from here to Milford Sound and I'm probably going to get going in like 20 minutes or so. I'm going to leave at 545. I should get there around like 730 at the earliest. I have to be there by like eight. So I just I like being prepared. I like making sure I'm on time. <clears throat> and any other updates? Oh, honestly, this kitchen's super cool. Um, New Zealand has such a strong backpacking community that the hostels are really good. Um, the three other girls were in my room. One's here for like two months, one's here for three, and one's here for like three weeks. And it's funny it's just to seeing them talk They're like yeah i spent like the past five days in queenstown it was gonna be like two but then i liked it so much i just kept booking at different hostels um yeah it's just like the culture's really chill everyone's super friendly 
but this is a really nice kitchen because if you are doing a long-term back to backpacking trip like a lot of people do here in New Zealand you want to cook for yourself and get groceries so there's I'll even show you it's like here's one full kitchen area like you know stove hot plates or stove sink there's tons of different dishes then over here we have a microwave another sink and then look at this fridge A bunch of people just go get groceries and stick them in here because it's a very trusting community. So, with that being said, I'm gonna eat some breakfast. I'm going to, oh, another reason why I'm up early is I'm just gonna like skim some scuba diving rolls and stuff since I haven't dove in eight months. Oh, yeah, that's it. I thought I forgot my like little patty card, but I have it. But yeah, that's it. I'll check in with you guys later. That's the plan. We got the exposure working. Um, but yeah, I just finished scuba diving and this battery flashing, so I'm gonna keep this quick. Scuba diving was absolutely awesome, loved it. If you're coming to New Zealand and you're coming to Newford, Milford Sound, if you're coming to New Zealand and you're going to Milford Sound, I highly recommend going scuba diving. This is the only dive company for Milford Sound. They're called Descend Dive, I think. And they're awesome. You get to do what you do on like the cruise, but more so like, oh my gosh, it was so sick. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring my GoPro on the actual dive because I didn't have the right gear for it. But the diving was awesome. The people running the tour were awesome. We like got to go to this little waterfall. We like drove the boat under a glacier. It was just so sick. So now my plan is I'm gonna try to find this lake and hike to the lake but there's no service here. And I don't know where it is, but I have a general idea. So you know what? I'll keep you guys updated if I find my way there. And yeah, that's the plan. The thing that's awesome about New Zealand is when you're just driving around, there's so many beautiful places to just pull off on the side of the road. Like look at this view right here. Like that is magical. So I just pulled off real quick to take a few photos and then I'm gonna hop back in the car Keep trying to find Lake Marion. Well, guess I signed up for a three hour hike. <laughs> <laughs> 